Hey guys, Lotus Dreams here and welcome to my playthrough of Gothic 2 and obviously the including the add-on Night of the Raven and um, yeah there's a few things to say here I already b played Gothic a long time ago and uh, since then there were uh, the community has made some great mods and I wanted to try it out again see what we can do uh, fix some of the balancing issues that the game obviously had before uh, making mages way way uh, worse than anything else and um, now we have some great um, graphic mods like the El Hiver mod also DirectX 10 shader support which makes the game absolutely stunning uh, even though it's that old it still looks pretty good and obviously it's uh, gameplay wise one of the cooler games that I've played uh, in all time actually. Alright, um, we will do some modifications even after but I can only do them in game and uh, don't worry about the text and everything everything is gonna be in English but the mods uh, require me to have all text in German because the mods are made by Germans and they don't always get you English support, very simple actually. I'll talk a little bit more about the changes uh, while we have downtime and for now we're just going to start the story and let the introduction do itself. There you are again. I never thought the two of us would meet again. I feel like I spent three weeks lying under a load of rocks. Well, so you did. Only the magic within your armor kept you alive. I had feared I might not be able to rescue you from the debris of the temple, but enough of that. You'll hear now. There's a new threat that we have to deal with. At least we have enough time now. I did it. The sleeper has been banned. You vanquished him, so much is true. It is not within our power to stop the war that ensues now. With his final furious scream, the sleeper has set into movement the armies of darkness. 
It was an order to all evil creatures, a word of power that they were all bound to obey. His last order was, Come, and they came, all of them, even the dragons. Dragons? They are creatures of an ancient power. I can sense their presence, even here. And they have gathered an entire army of lowly servant creatures around me. Where's this army now? The army is camped not far from here, in the Valley of Mind near Kolinitz, and they're getting ready to attack. But that's not all. There is another threat of which I have learned only recently. After the fall of the barrier and the banishment of the sleeper, Galyar's wrath has grown even greater. A mighty artifact, so it is written in the old scriptures, will be brought back to this world when the god of darkness sends his henchmen out to search. This search has long since begun. Galyar's henchmen are desecrating the oldest shrines of the gods. The guardians of these holy places have awakened, and their wrath makes the earth tremble. Every powerful magician on this island could sense this wrath. Some of them have certainly begun to face the threat. You must become their ally. That's the only way to stop Galyar. Well, then let's hurry to get out of here. If we flee now, then it's only to face the dragons later. With the help of the soldiers and the magicians who live around here, we can stop them before their army is completely formed. We're not going to get a better chance. I need weapons. I can only give you whatever little I have here. Look around in my tower. Anything that looks useful to you, you can have. can we do? This time we cannot handle it by ourselves. Only the power within us will help us against these dragons. A group of paladins is stationed in the city of Kalinus, not far from here. They possess a powerful artifact which could help us to defeat the dragons. They call it the Eye of Innos. You need to get hold of this artifact. Tell the paladins about the threat. You must convince their leader to support us. And once you have talked to him, we need to find the artifact of Galyar. It is the counterpiece to the Eye of Enos. It must not fall into the hands of evil. What exactly is the Eye of Enos? It's an amulet. Legend has it that Enos himself has poured part of his power into this amulet. It will restore some of your lost strength and help us defeat the dragons. It also has some other hidden powers. I shall tell you more about that once the amulet is yours. Why would the paladins give me the Eye of Innos? Because you are the one who is destined to wear it. How can you claim to know that? There are a number of reasons. The most important being, you have defeated the sleeper. If you weren't a favorite of the gods, you'd be dead by now. Let's assume you're right and I'm destined to bear the Eye of Innos. How would the paladins know that's true? The Eye itself chooses the one who may wear it. Once you get hold of it and put it on, the paladins cannot doubt your words any longer. How can I get to the city? Just follow the path from here through the mountains. The city is large. You cannot miss it, but watch out. The path to town is not without dangers, and you aren't nearly as strong as you once were. I'll be on my way as fast as I can. Good. And one more thing. Don't tell anyone that you've talked to me. Above all, don't tell any since I have gone into exile, the circle of fire has taken me for dead, and that's a good thing. Alright, here we are. As I said, I'll do some modifications.